Thanks for joining us on the John Madola Show. We're driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Let's talk Wes Granton Baseball. Joining us is the head coach, George Roskus. And uh, George, everybody uh, kind of chomping at the bit. Some people are getting on their field. Some people aren't. But uh, the start of high school baseball in northeastern Pennsylvania is going to start one way or another. Uh, let's talk about this year's team for the Invaders, Coach. Uh, a lot of seniors, uh, a lot of experience. Uh, we haven't really put it together either the last two years, but uh, we're hoping to get off to a strong start, come out of the gates, and and uh, you know take care of things early and put ourselves in a decent position to compete for the league title or division title. Well, George, line. George, you have some uh, some good leadership there. Uh, one of the guys behind the plate is Jim Petrucci. Petrucci, uh, third year starter. Uh, baseball, serious kid. Uh, his whole life, he basically lives at Connell Park over in Southside. Um, you know, provides a lot of leadership for us, calls the game behind the plate, and probably has as good a grasp on all the hitters in our league as, as anybody I've ever coached. George, uh, you, you talk about a kid like this who uh, has some leadership ability. Uh, he's going to the next level to college as far as uh, going to be a police officer. So he seems uh, he's mature in what he wants to do and in that next step. But uh, a hard-nosed kid, a typical West Sider who uh, will put his nose to the grindstone. Yeah, absolutely. He uh, He's willing to take a, a tough slide at the plate if he's got to block the plate or anything like that. He's, he's played through a couple of... Injuries the last two seasons for us without saying a word, and uh, we know we could count on him to be there every day. George, let's talk about Mike Villa, a young man who has a an interesting background, uh, been in a few different places, uh, in, including uh, where he's from. Uh, he's a senior, and uh, I know you're awfully uh, happy to have this young man come through your program. Yeah, Mike. Uh, Mike's originally from Queens, New York. His parents are uh, Dominican Americans, uh, so they spent a good portion of their life on. Uh, on the island, and uh, Mike actually spent two years when he was 10, 11 years old. He played down in the Dominican and lived there, went to school there, and, and played there as well, just to try to get a little bit more baseball experience for himself. Came back here. Uh, uh, glad to have him at West Granton, and we're going to miss him next year when he heads to Lackawanna College playing for Chris Pensack. He's uh, he's our center fielder. He'll hit towards the top of the order for us. Hopefully he can uh, – you know, drive the ball to some gaps, get some doubles, steal some bases, and uh, you know, we know he covers a lot of ground and and uh, strong enough arm to to make people think twice about running on him. Talk of West Granton baseball here on the John Mandola Show, driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers, locations in Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, Kingston, Hazleton, and Williamsport, Georgia. And the next young man we're going to talk about, he's a freshman. Uh, he's on uh, the radar, not only for you, but I'm sure some other people know who he is. His name is Cole Stetzer. Yeah, Cole is a uh, multi-sport athlete at West, uh, started on the basketball team as well. Uh, he didn't start his first game, but he started every game after that. Um, uh one of the most competitive kids I've been around. Also, hard worker. You know, I've give, given teams days off before, and I know that Cole gets out on his own all the time, either with a couple of buddies or with his dad. He's working in the cage. He's working at the field. He's working in the bullpen. Um, you know, he, he loves the hit. He loves the field. He loves the pitch. He loves to compete. Uh, uh, we're expecting big things out of Cole, not just this year, but uh, for the future as well. I know Cole's not the only one, but uh, it's nice to have a freshman and knowing uh, for the next four years, you're going to have a guy who does a, a great job on the field for you, but uh, boy, he's a heck of a student as well. Yeah, honor roll student. Uh, his mom's a math teacher over at Scranton High. His father also works for the school district. His, his sister, Taylor, does really well in school. Uh, she's uh, she's a senior at Scranton High. She's headed to, I believe, either Syracuse University or Penn State and uh you know, it's it's a it's a great family to you know, great academics out of both of their their kids and they're involved in all the extracurriculars and do do very well. Well, George, I know it's been uh, been challenging uh, as we mentioned for some teams in northeastern Pennsylvania. You happen to be one of the teams that uh, you're kind of stuck indoors. Uh, uh, field conditions uh, right now just aren't playing uh, in your favor. But and as you say, it's challenging to 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 have that outlook and say, okay, this guy's definitely going there or what have you. But uh, I know you guys will make it work. And as you mentioned, a tough lack of one league. Tell us about some of the other guys on your team that you think will step up and and uh, you'll have a nice season there at Westside. 
Uh, Mason Marcico, another three-year starter for us. He, uh, he's he been our third baseman since he was a sophomore. He also came on really strong second half of last year as a pitcher for us, and we're looking for big things out of him as well. He uh, He's headed to Temple University. Um, uh, he was planning on walking onto their baseball team, but uh, they dropped baseball. But uh, he's got some academic money there. He's an, he's an excellent – I think he's probably, as far as our team goes, he's one of the top kids on our team as far as GPA. Uh, Colin Lipowich, another three-year starter and pitcher. We'll, we'll, he'll see some time out of the bullpen probably for us, uh, hit in the middle of the lineup, play first base. Uh, Nick Ivanoff is probably our, our other college prospect out of this senior class. In addition to Mike Villa, Nick is uh, looking at going to either DeUville College up near Buffalo, New York, or, uh, or possibly Marywood University. Nick's a pitcher, second baseman, first baseman. Uh, he's another guy that's battled some arm injuries over the last couple of years, but uh, a lot of physical therapy in the off season, and uh, you know we're trying to keep him solid with his mechanics and and be a little careful with him and uh, make sure that he's he's with us for the long haul, but. Uh, uh, you know, Nick's been. We had Nick's older brother in our program, in our Legion program, about seven years ago, uh, Joe Calhoun. Um, you know, Nick's the second, and, and Nick's got two younger brothers, so we're looking forward to uh, having a few more Ivanoffs uh, for years to come in the West Granton program. Uh, Brian Swinski's another senior, uh, was a starter for us last year. He'll be competing uh, in the outfield. Dave Boyle, senior uh, pitcher for us, he'll get some time. Uh, he's competing for for a spot in the rotation, and at the very least, he'll be coming out of the bullpen. Um, and Ryan Sherman, uh, Ryan was a little bit inconsistent last year, but he looked great this year coming out of the bullpen. Or I'm sorry, in in all his bullpens, he looks very good. And uh, his best start last year, he uh, he held Abington to one earned run in our first round district playoff game uh, that we lost two to one. And uh, you know, as you know. Two weeks later, Abington was playing in the state semifinals. So, uh, Sherman's been Sherman's been hot and cold for us in the past, but if, if he can get consistent, he can really help us out. George, you and I have to talk to, about this before, and, and you know, you're the first one to give accolades to uh, to other teams in northeastern Pennsylvania uh, and the job they've done in the, in the state playoffs. And, of course, uh, you know this Lackawanna League, it's going to be a grinder, and uh, there's some great teams, and, and that outlook is, uh, hey, w- w- we think we're going to be pretty good, as you would say, but uh, you know the other teams are as well. Yeah, Division One of the Lackawanna League is, uh, is a meat grinder. Um, you know, Valley View, Abington, and Scranton, each have two solid pitchers, and you know how it is, John. When you when you really only play two league games each week, we're going to see low scoring games, and things are going to come down to to really the the small things, the, the minute details. Who who executes a bunt late in the game? Who uh, you know who's able to take an extra base on a ball in the dirt or something like that? Uh, you know, and I, you know, on paper, I would say that Abington and Valley View and Scranton are all probably the league favorites, and and. You know, I don't think too many people are talking about West Grant and Scranton Prep, but uh, you know, I know Coach Ross over at Prep has a heck of a program. They beat us three times last year, um, so you know we're going to have to we're going to have to get after it every single day and make sure we're focused and competitive and. Uh, we're certainly looking forward to it. Some good baseball coaches, some great baseball players in northeastern Pennsylvania. Somehow, everybody continues to to get the job done, of course, at the collegiate level and then beyond. And George Roskis, one of those guys uh, trying to make sure his uh, his athletes there at West Grant, so he's getting the most out of them. And Coach, uh, a pleasure talking with you. We wish you well this season. Excellent, John. Thank you very much. West Granton Baseball here on the John Mandola Show with George Roskis. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.